Hi everybody, this is Fox Nomad and today I want to help you travel smarter by showing you what it's like in Istanbul, Turkey during this Corona quarantine. Now this wasn't the video I planned to make today, but I was going to the grocery store and I've been getting a lot of questions from family and friends and from a lot of you sending messages wondering about how I'm doing, whether I'm traveling, where I am and what it's like for life where I am. So I decided to show you on my walk today what it's like in Istanbul. And I've got to say that the difference is quite stark. So if you look at these streets, they're normally full of people, so full of people that you usually can't walk on the sidewalks. You've got to kind of hop off the sidewalk and walk up the street, but they're pretty much all dead. Now, the government has issued an advice to everybody that they shouldn't go outside unless it's absolutely necessary, unless they're going to the pharmacy or grocery store or going to their job. And although it's not a mandatory lockdown where you can't leave your apartment, it's pretty much a strong suggestion that a lot of people are taking. And before that suggestion was made, I started to notice a lot of people wearing masks and a lot of people wearing rubber gloves. That's become much more common from the elderly people to younger people. So all sorts of people are wearing gloves for sure. And masks, although most people here are not wearing the masks properly, they've usually got their nose uncovered and they've definitely got plenty of time for cigarette breaks under that mask, which then why are you, does that, does the mask not work then? But the difference here has been quite stark. For me personally, I've had to cancel a whole bunch of travel plans over the next couple of weeks and months. And those are sort of all in limbo. So I'm staying put here in Istanbul for the time being to see how things shake out in the next couple of weeks. But as far as life on the street, you do notice that there are still people walking around, a lot of people going to work, a lot of joggers, people who are outside working out. And I've noticed that when you go to the parks, there are groups of people who are working out together. They bring kettlebells and dumbbells. They're doing pull-ups in the park. They're doing yoga, dancing lessons. So there are these small groups of about five people and they're sort of spread out and they're giving these kind of workout lessons. So you have a trainer who's doing jumping jacks and burpees and push-ups and that kind of stuff, pull-ups on the pull-up bars, and then also giving out hand sanitizer to people as they work out and as they grab those bars. So it's all very well thought out and hygienic, but pretty much the streets are completely dead. There are a couple of things that are still open, like the grocery stores, although they have reduced hours. And most of the things in the grocery store, by the way, if you're wondering, are pretty well stocked. So. When the first corona warnings came out here a couple days ago when people thought there would be a mandatory quarantine i went to the grocery store and it was full just completely full of people and all the meat and all the yogurt was gone so all the, all the stuff in the grocery store those were the two things that were gone it was meat yogurt completely gone but as you can see here they restocked up so there's plenty of food in the grocery store and not many people actually shopping a couple of things that you can't find at the pharmacies and grocery stores are this lemon cologne cologne basically a lemon scented alcohol that's very common in Turkey so when you enter someone's home even if you've flown Turkish Airlines you've definitely seen this so it's like a alcohol based lemon scented cologne that you put in your hands and people sort of wipe on their hands and their face and it's a disinfectant actually those have been all sold out or they're really 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 expensive like five times the normal price masks are gone or they're really expensive so masks before this corona weren't very common. So those are all pretty much sold out. But all this lemon cologne being sold out is pretty interesting. It's pretty unusual for Turkey. All the bakers are open. So you have bread shops that are open and you've got other small shops selling baked goods and sweets. Those are open, but pretty much all the restaurants are closed except for a couple of kebab places. And I can't really understand or I don't know why those are allowed to stay open while others aren't. Doesn't seem to be very uniform to me, but maybe some of you know. You can let me know in the comments below but i'm not sure what the difference is so there are a handful of places that are randomly open but pretty much everywhere else is just closed as far as food ordering i haven't tried because i'm gonna guess those places are not delivering and most of the delivery scooters are pretty much just parked and not moving around so i'm guessing most places are closed even for deliveries the mosques are all closed for group prayers although some are allowing some individual prayers so people can just go but as far as the mass prayers which take place here every day and especially on Fridays, those have all been postponed, so the mosques are closed. And even the street cats are wondering who's going to feed me. They seem a lot more hungry than usual. And it's probably because the shop owners aren't there to fill their bowls up with food that they normally do for these street cats. And so it's pretty quiet in general. And at night, this happens. So I caught this right outside my window yesterday. So people cheering. I think it's sort of a 
quarantine morale boost. I'm not quite sure yet, I'm gonna find out, but I noticed that last night. And even on everyone's phones, the carriers have changed from their name normally that you would have here on the top to hashtag if they call, which means stay at home. Public transportation is still going on, but as you can see, the buses are pretty empty. All the taxi drivers just sitting around and a lot of people are opting to take taxis more rather than taking the bus, but that's more expensive. And then you do see these shop owners, these small street vendors who sell baked goods. And a lot of them are really, really struggling because they don't have customers and they don't know what's going to happen. So if there is a mandatory quarantine where people are not allowed to really go outside, and they really enforce it a lot of those guys are going to have nobody to sell to and the chance of them going out of business or being really in a hard place is just worrying a lot of people i'm very fortunate i can work from home but i know a lot of people can't so they have to be outside and out in the street and they're really worried about their future so there's a general worry about what's going to happen but on the flip side a lot of people are very understanding and realize that this is what needs to be done to keep this under control and from getting a lot worse so aside from that, Istanbul right now looks like a movie set. So you can just walk around. These cafes are all closed. These streets are all closed. It doesn't look real even. And you do see a couple of other people and just see people and you're like, wow, there's another person. But you can easily go a block or two, which normally in Istanbul is absolutely impossible without seeing another human being on these main arteries that go through this part of the city. But you can easily go like a block or two and not see anybody. There's a couple of security staff that are just stationed there that are always there. And they're pretty much it. You don't see other people on the street. So it's pretty quiet and people are staying inside for the most part. Besides all the gyms are closed. All the restaurants and cafes are closed. So there's not a lot of things that people can go out and actually do. So most people are staying inside for the most part. So this is the situation right now and what it looks like in Istanbul. So hopefully this gives you a glimpse of what it's like in life here. But I'm really curious what's going on where you are. If you have any videos or if you filmed anything or if you just want to let me know down in the comments, please do so. I'll be interested to read those. And while you're down there, hit the like and subscribe buttons. I'll have new videos for you every week. Keep washing your hands, stay safe, and I will talk to you in the next video. So there are a couple of definitely most places are so there are a couple of, so there are a couple of, a lot of things to do. To